Nobody can beat me in the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because I am the Black Heart Forearm Spawn. Hello, welcome to another Spawn Action Toy Review. Uh, this is Spawn the Dark Ages. Uh, this is Spawn the Black Heart. Uh, Spawn the Black Heart Spawn Series 14 came out in August 99. After the successful Spawn Raven Knight from Series 11, uh, this figure. Another medieval spawn was released. The Black Heart. A four four armed medieval spawn. Uh, there are two versions of Black Heart. Black Heart spawn. Uh, the original version is this one. Series 14, August 99. It has a red cape and a gray gray abs uh, there's a repaint no November 99 series 14 repaint uh, it got red abs and a white white cape uh, black heart is the main spawn of the series 14 but overwhelmed by the popularity of the mandarin spawn this one Okay, let's take a look at the box. This is the front of the box. It says Spawn Dark Ages. It got 16 figures. Uh, the figure has 19 pivot points. Be nice. See the weapons. Uh, this is the back. We see the main spawn of the spawn series is the Black Knight, a uh, Black Heart. The other is the Necromancer. Mandarin Spawn, the Scarlet Edge, Viper King, this one. Really cool figure. We got the Tormentor and Iguanatus and Tuscadon. Okay. Uh, let's measure the card. The card stands 13 and a half inches. By nine, by eight and a half inches. Okay, let's open up Black Heart. And here's Black Heart, Spawn Black Heart out of the box. Really, really cool. Really detailed figure. Uh, he stands. Almost at seven inches. Really, really cool figure. Very detailed. Uh, this is the time where the four horsemen sculptors is still working under Todd McFarlane. Uh, uh, they they are still making their name as a sculptor group of sculptor. Uh, this is the time series fourteen is where they won this figure. The figure of Mandarin Spawn. Uh, they won the best figure of 99. And that's where the first time where the poor horseman get really, really famous. And after that, uh, they left McFarlane to go to NECA. And now they're on Mythic Legions. Really cool figure. Okay, let's start on his accessories. I came with this cape with a cool detailed back armor and shoulder armor with color. A cape is red with black, tattered, real cool. Uh, this blade, real cool blade that can be attached here the back of his armor uh, 
let's measure the blade uh, the blade is three inches point two uh, we got this smaller double X blade. Love the detail. Really cool. Love the paint job. Blood stained X, double X. Really cool. Love the detail here. Uh, it's five inches. Really cool. There's the detail. And this much more bigger axe very nice got a lot of weapons you got a lot of hands it's almost at five inches too very nice okay for articulation uh his head can move a bit i got ball joint on this shoulder and here too uh, got a cut here a cut here at the mid bicep this there's a cut in arm this one too uh, and third arm has a joint here and a cut here and the arm can move too this is the port arm it can hinge it, it get an elbow single elbow hinge and that's it ah this can move and it got single knee and it get No, get a pivot here. Yes. Okay, that's it. Very nice detail. Love the detail. Love the detail in the back. Okay, let's gear, gear him up. And here's Black Heart, all geared up really cool got four arm spawn and nice love the back love this blade thing the double axe very nice love the detail really really cool really cool spawn incarnation very nice And for size comparison, here he is next to the Mandarin Spawn, Scarlet Edge, Raven Knight, and Viper King. Really, really detailed figure. This is one of the coolest spawn. Really cool. Detailed detail to the max really nice really cool spawn love it a mass hub for any spawn completes there Really, really awesome spawn figure. Okay, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.